A quick explanation of how to convert a deanery number to a binary number. Let's take the number 73, for example. The first golden rule when converting to binary is draw the table. Starting on the right hand side, so sometimes students make the mistake of starting with the one on here and going one, two, four. Always make the one on the right hand side. One, two, four, eight, double, 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 up to 128. Now the point about 73 is that there is only one possible combination of these numbers that will make 73. So the way to do it is start by finding the biggest number in the table, which is the same or smaller than 73. In this case, the number that's next biggest is 64. So take 64, put a one against it, and then take 64 away from the 73. We're left with nine. Then we do the same thing again. We, we now are only looking at nine. You can probably see what it's going to be, but let's run through the process. You take the biggest number in the table, which is the same as or smaller than. Well, of course, that's eight. Take eight away from nine. You get a one. Do the same thing again. Keep repeating. You keep working your way down until you've used up all your numbers. Clearly, there's only one left. That's going to fit into the one space and then you're done. So the last thing to do is you must remember to fill in zeros where there aren't ones. This is very important because quite often an exam question will say convert 73 to an eight digit binary number. And if you simply say 1001001, you won't get the mark. You have to fill in all the zeros even up to the eighth place.